if I let go of any plans and just go and, and travel, I might find a project, find something which, which, um, which really inspires me and um, something which fascinates me because I haven't come across that something before. I came to, to this place here. I ended up in the sanctuary. It awakened something in me. I, I was I was I was touched by it. And because yeah in society we, we don't have that way of relating to nature or re relating to, to what's around us. We don't have that respectful way. So yeah, I, I wanted to learn more about it. So what I observed with people coming here, especially people living in the city, they, they start calming down, they start um, resting deep in themselves and um, it's helping them also to, to relate to their body in another way, like we are also doing chi movements every morning and um, these movements help a lot to to feel your body, like feel every part of your body. So what I experienced is in these sound healings that people start moving, they start shaking. It's a kind of trauma release. Trauma is stored in our cells. And so every, if we go through a trauma, your body um, remembers that trauma. And it's, it's, it's in your body also, not only in your, in your brain or in your mind. We need some support. We need resources to buy this place out of personal ownership because it will be put on the market in two weeks. In order to preserve this place for humanity, we need resources to buy it into a foundation and build it up into a center for education and research and also for people to come and rest. We're planting seeds in the people, which then sprout if they go their path and they let it work in them, they let it open. So, yeah, that's the, the vision of this place, to, to create a place where people can be inspired by, by another way, another way of living. To have that time and, and to really go, go into yourself and see what, what, what is it? What is, what, what is it all about? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.